My name is Dr Adam Yates. I'm the Senior Curator of Earth Sciences for the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. I have next to me the fossil of a nautiloid, a giant nautiloid. This particular fossil was found lurking in the basement of the uh, old space where the collection was temporarily stored for many years before we finally moved into the new museum at Megafauna Central in the centre of Alice Springs. So during this move, I discovered this specimen, dusted it off, uh, realised that it came from an exceptionally large nautiloid that in life would have been about two and a half metres long, uh, which makes it one of the largest animals alive at the time. And so we are putting it on display for all uh, visitors and locals to see. This specimen is 460 million years old. That puts it in the Ordovician period, which is long before there were any dinosaurs on land or indeed any animal with a backbone living on land. At the time, during the Ordovician period, Australia was unrecognisable. The southern or the southwestern part of Australia was joined to a supercontinent called Gondwana. Where we are sitting now in Alice Springs would have been underwater with a seaway stretching across Australia from east to west, dividing the southern part from a smaller island of northern Australia. This specimen was found near Rainbow Valley in the Southern Northern Territory, which is part of a geological structure called the Armadeus Basin. The Armadeus Basin is filled with sediments, sand and mud, that was laid down at the bottom of this seaway that used to stretch across Australia, but has long since vanished. So the segment of fossil that you see is only a part of the whole creature. What we would have had in life with the shell tapering off to a point at one end and at the other end a body chamber in which the animal's soft parts resided and the head would have uh, protruded from that uh, with its tentacles etc. Back part of the shell which this is a part of was filled with gas chambers which they could use for buoyancy control so they could float up and down at will. So what we're looking at is basically uh, something that's very simple to a modern living nautilus, except that in a living nautilus, the shell is coiled up. In this guy, the, if you can imagine, if you took a modern nautilus and you unfurled it, straightened it out, so it became a cone instead of a ram's horn. Basically, during their evolution, the coiled nautiloids uh, were more successful. So the, these long straight shelled nautiloids basically lugging a great big long giant straight thing behind you became uh, a disadvantage. It was much much more efficient to coil it up and so you don't have to carry this great big long shell dragging behind you.